And I've got the cold steel magnum cookery machete here. Definitely a long enough name. Let's pull it out of the package. Looks like this has got a nylon sheath. It's got two snaps on it. I like that it has some reinforcement down here so you don't poke your blade through. And the texturing on the grip is probably good enough that I'm not going to need to put any kind of extra texture on it. So here's the cookery here. Check the thickness on it. Not sure what the company actually says it is. Thickness on it is just about 332nd. Let's check the length of the blade and the overall. Just under 17 inch blade. Um, as it's ground right now, it comes to about 15 inches. And it looks like we're at 22 inches for overall length. I'm going to take this out to my uh, my grinder, which I have a leather strap on. I'm going to shine up this edge because right now it'll be very hard to tell in the video, but where they've baked on this uh, this plastic or enamel, it's uh, definitely screwed the edge up. Looks like there's some some runs or something that got they got down here to the edge. So I'm gonna take this out to the garage, shine it up, and then we'll go test it out. I picked up the cookery machete here for cutting small vegetation out of the way while I'm riding on trails on my ATV. So I'm gonna go right out there and work my way back to the camera just to see how it performs. Alright guys, so that's the cold steel cookery machete. Thanks for watching. Click that like button. It's about right there. Helps me out a lot and motivates me to make more videos for you.